I just got this lipstick, guys, and what do we think? I am feeling it. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back, and today I'm doing my one year review on my nano bag. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, all designer and fashion related. I love sharing with you all my tips and tricks. If that is something you're into, please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. Okay guys, so I have been going through some of my handbag reveals to see what bags I've had for a year. So I can give you an update. Yes, 2020 wasn't ideal year for any of us for trying out new handbags, but I thought if I've had it over a year, I have an idea whether I like it, if I'm gonna keep it. Most of the time I give a bag six months. If it's not working for me, I end up selling it, replace it with something else. So if something is here over a year, it must mean I like it. So I thought I'd give you my review on this bag right here. Now this bag I got December of 2019. It was one of those things where I was stalking the Louis Vuitton website and it said add to cart. So I added it to cart. And when I purchased this, it was retailing for, I believe $1,150, which is, if you know anything about Louis Vuitton prices right now, it is an amazing deal. And I know that because I just purchased a new bag and it's canvas. And I just felt like the prices were outrageous for canvas pieces. So this is on the currently, because of the price increases on the Louis Vuitton website for only $1,300. So it is high, but for this type of bag and all the stuff you can fit in it, I actually think this is a pretty good price point for this bag and a bag that you should consider in your collection if you're starting and you want some nice LV pieces, but you don't want to pay crazy LV prices because this is not a bag that you want to buy on the secondhand market because it is a popular bag and it's kind of a little rare to get in stores, not completely, but a little bit harder to get in stores. They hype the price up on this on the secondhand market, even with it being used. So you definitely wanna buy this bag brand new. So this bag here has a strap that is not adjustable and non-removable. But for me, I think it's the perfect length to wear the bag on your shoulder or cross body, very comfortable strap. I don't really feel like it needs to be removable, but let's say you want to put like a little top handle bag on there. You could definitely add like another strap to it to make it top handle. I have thought of maybe trying to play around with that, different ways of styling it this summer. This being a mini bag, I primarily wear this just in the summer and spring months, but you could wear it all year round. But for me, I don't like to wear mini bags with poofy coats and jackets. I just don't like the look of that. I usually like to wear bigger bags with poofy jackets, I kind of like to balance it out, but love wearing mini bags in the spring and summer. I think it just looks so cute. And this one looks so cute with everything. Like you can wear it with jeans and a t-shirt. You can wear it with a cute dress and stuff. It's just absolutely adorable. And it fits more than you think. And I'm gonna show you that. The features of the bag, how it closes, is it has a tie here to close the bag. Like you could leave it open, but this isn't a bag that you'd wanna to take to like an open market or something where you're worried about security that someone could go in. However, I'm able to tie this pretty tight. Now, when I first got this bag, it was really stiff right here. So I'm gonna open this up for you. It was really stiff. So I used to put like a scarf over top cause I just was afraid of my things. Like maybe what if they would fall out or something? Not that someone was gonna steal it, but I didn't want them to fall out. But now when I tie it, I can actually get it pretty close. It just depends on what I put in here. That's, I mean, you see that didn't take a lot of time to tie this, but some people that might be a negative, but it depends on what you have in here. If you can cinch it really closed, if you have something that's like higher up, you might have it open a little bit, but none of my things ever really fell out. I think I just did the scarf because I was just concerned that when I put it on my bag or something, I just didn't want anything to, to tip over and to fall out, but I've never had that problem. I really love the patina on this, and this is just from a little over a year, and I could just see it starting to get like an absolute beautiful honey color on it. Everything feels good with this. I don't have any real wear or anything to the corners. Everything, I'm looking at it. Nope, I just see if I have any wrinkling. I might see like, I don't know if this is just the light here, me being picky, but I see maybe just a little bit of wrinkling of the leather right there, it's probably just from me like closing and sealing it or grabbing it from here, but it's very, very mild. Let's open it up, open it here. You can see there's no pockets or anything in there. It's 
a very mini bag. However, it opens up. I think this is similar to like the speedy in that aspect that you can actually fit a lot more in here than you think you can. So let's put some beautiful things in the bag and I can show you what it fits. Hey guys, I got a bunch of little things in here for you. First, we're going to do the mini pochettes and yes, it fits perfectly in here and I can tilt it on my side here or I could have it facing up, but I usually just tilt it on this side. Then we have my Chanel zip that fits perfectly right in the back. We got our keys right here. And then we've got, let's see if we can put the clay in here. Yes, that fits perfectly right there. Let's put, we need to go driving. Let's put our key fob in there. We need a mask. We can put that in there. And I still have room for my cell phone, but I film on my phone, so I can't show you that. Now let's cinch it together. And there you go, guys. You see that it actually, now that I've had it longer, when you first have it is stiff, but see, you don't really have to worry about things like falling out. I was concerned about that, but now it's able to close pretty well. Nothing is falling out and it looks super cute and chic. As you can see here, it's one of my favorite bags to wear cross body like this. I fit, feel like it fits me in just all the right places, but I do know that if you're a little bit taller, it might fit a little bit higher up because this strap drop is just 21 inches, a little over that. And here it is just on my shoulder. The length of this bag is 5.1 inches. The height is 5.9 inches and your width is 3.5 inches. So as you can see, this bag fits a whole bunch. It's absolutely cute and gorgeous. And this is definitely a favorite in my collection. I am currently using, I call this the mama bag. I'm currently using this bag and you can see the huge difference in this. This fits a laptop, this does not, but this fits all the essentials, everything you need. And I feel like this is so much better than I also have the petite sack plaque but this fits so much more than that. And I don't feel the need to put the mini Speedy on my list. I did have that on my list for a little bit, but I feel like this is the perfect, like this is my favorite mini bag that I'm going to wear all the time. I'm so excited to bring it out. Sometimes I'll tie a little poof to it. I do have my cute little Louis Vuitton bag charm. So I'm gonna try to like hang that off the side, maybe on the corner. So I'm gonna play around with this. But yes, guys, I definitely recommend this bag. Even though it's $1,300, I feel like that's such a great deal in Louis Vuitton bags because the canvas bag that I just bought, guys, canvas bag that I just bought from Louis Vuitton new was $3,000. Like it is outrageous the prices for a canvas and it was the same price as a leather bag from Louis Vuitton. So we'll get on that. I'll get on a tangent about that later. I'm very excited about the bag coming to me, but I am just upset about the prices. So I really feel like this is a great affordable price for everyone. It's a great bag. You fit everything and I love it. Can you tell that I love it? Okay guys, that is everything. Let me know if there's some other bags in my collection you want me to do an updated review on as you look back at all my reveals or something I've only had for six months or so. I would love to give you all the information that you need to make some beautiful, healthy handbag choices. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye guys.